In this video, I'm going to show how changes to design space and inkscape make it possible to improve the quality in the print and cut feature on the machine. So here we are in Inkscape. The first thing to do is to import a file. And for this exercise, I'm just going to keep it simple and use the call office that's provided free by Scale Scenes. Then anybody can have a go at this. When you import, change it just to one page. It sometimes takes a while for the PDFs to load. Now you can go for all of the parts, but what I'm going to do is pick on just a couple of the parts to show how easy this is. First of all, take out any of the little fonts and things that you don't want around the drawing. And I'm going to take this part of the PDF. So just surround, then say object group, and it will pick up the cutting lines behind and bring that across to here. We now have the one part that I'm going to show you how to use. If we now go to File Export, this screen comes up. Now this allows us for this time to change the DPI output from its standard 96 and I'm going to change it to 600 DPI. At the bottom here you'll see the export selected only. Click on that and it will only take this page. If you want to store it or wherever you want to store it you can change the name here. So we'll just call this call. Leaving the .png there. Click on the portable network graphics uh, part to make sure it is there, then press export. That really is all you need to do within Inkscape. So let's now move to the Crycut Maker 3 machine. So here we are in design space. And first thing to do is click on the upload, then upload image, browse. And this particular file is called call so we'll open it. The bigger the image the higher the DPI the slower it takes to load. So we press to continue and again it takes time. I'm doing this in real time to show that. Apply and continue. Now this is where there's a change in design space. We don't want multiple layers, we don't want single layer, we want a flat graphic. So select flat graphic and this time it will be at the DPI that you selected at the start in Inkscape. If we continue, upload and it can be very slow uploading into design space. The bigger the image, the higher the DPI, the slower the load time. And as you can see, the size of it is incorrect. So we need to go back and take a look at Inkscape and find out exactly what size it was. And we can see that it was 98.96. So we now alter the width to 9.89 because this is in centimeters and the Inkscape was in millimeters. So once done, then we have the correct size. If we then tell it to make it, it will then place it onto the print then cut screen. From there, what you need to do is press continue and press select printer. You can use the system dialog on your printer or you can just press print, which is what I'm doing here. The quality of the print is very good and if we now place that onto the machine we're ready to send it to scan and cut. Once the printing is finished and you've put it onto the uh, maker machine ready to go we can then select whatever you've printed on. In this case I've just used some plain copy paper but it's better if you go up to the 120 gram. This will then tell you to select the um, type of blade 
and I recommend that you use the premium fine point blade, not a standard uh, fine point. The original fine point was for the Maker machine and the premium fine point is for the Maker 3. We then go to the machine and if we then press the uh, go button as it says, it will measure the mat length. And I'll leave this in real time so you can see how long it takes. We then press go. And the machine will scan the actual drawing. So what you're seeing on screen there is the machine is actually scanning the four corners and the actual um, image itself. And it will cut to the image. It's a fairly slow process but the results are worth it and i'll leave this running in real time just so you can see how long it does take in a lot of videos that you do see made um, it makes it look as though it's done very quickly this is quite a slow process I have noticed in some of the uh, drawings that I've scanned and cut that sometimes it doesn't cut the window openings. But by overlaying the, uh, the image with the actual frame that's at the back of the image, it will cut both the image at the back and the uh, main frame. This next couple of photographs just show the quality of the output. And this is direct off the cutting machine. And if we then do a comparison between the cutting machine at the top and the original PDF, you can see that they are quite close. You can alter the color on these by altering the DPI. It will make it a bit sharper and deeper. I think the output from the machine is now acceptable. And with the changes to the altering the DPI, and the changes in the way that Design Space accepts the DPI, I think we've got an acceptable method of print and cut. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.